Hey guys, everyone, JB here with another political video, and today, as you can tell, it's about, we're talking about Elon Musk, we're talking about Tesla, we're talking about Biden, we're talking about electric cars, and we're just going to be breaking this down. Now, this video is probably a little bit old news, unless I decided to post it earlier and record other stuff, because this is just happening on the 5th of August, right? 5th of August, and um, I'm going to be, this is going to be a backlog video for my trip, so... Hopefully, hopefully you're fine with that. But um, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do end up liking it, leave a like, subscribe, all the good YouTube stuff would really help it out the channel. But now that I've done all that, let's get actually to the information. So first things first, we'll be looking at this right here. So basically, uh, I, I found I was making a video on like the fuel efficiency, and I found out about this. So I thought it was pretty funny. So since the White House snubs non-union Tesla at electric vehicle event featuring the Big Three, so they they invited like you know, the Big Three. Of, of like you know of like cars um but they didn't invite elon musk and the reasoning behind that is because he doesn't have a unionized workforce um and the reasoning is he they they, they sh why is this why is this trending i'm up i'm up to look this up uh little impromptu check I, I did not know that i'll be looking at that later um but basically uh they're still not having him on because it's not unionized workforce they kept pushing unionized despite him making literally more electric cars than all three of the other companies combined which is, is just ridiculous even my current friends just got tesla because and they're going to get like the auto folk, uh, the auto driving thing put in later because my grandparent my grandpa can't really drive because he doesn't have as much feeling and speed so he doesn't think it's safe a little tangent but yeah i just wanted to say why they did they got it they didn't just get because like we want a tesla they got it to actually help him drive again which i think is really cool so let's get actually to more of the actual information right now so we, we did this we did talk about that but i want to talk about right here Biden Tuffet's fuel efficiency standards challenges automakers to sell more electric vehicles. I'm going to talk about why this is dumb, why electric vehicles sh should not be the feature. Again, I can't read the whole article here, so I'll be reading the little bit. Uh, President Biden made dual moves to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, imposing tougher fuel efficiency standards on automakers and challenging their drastically ramp up sales of electric vehicles, vehicles by 2030. It sounds good, but we'll, re we'll realize why it's not. Uh, Biden on Thursday signed an executive order setting a target for electric vehicles, hydrogen fuel cell, plug-in hybrid vehicles to make up 50% of U.S. sales by 2030. A voluntary goal that automakers said would entail uh, would entail federal support for vehicle charging stations and consumer tax in incentives. Separately, the Environmental Protection Agency proposed new rules that would require automakers to achieve a fleet-wide average fuel efficiency equivalent of 52 gallons per mile the 2026 model year using an in industry machine measure that takes into account both fuel efficiency and emissions reductions. The current requirement for that model year, uh, year is 43.3 miles per gallon under a rule set in the 2020, interpreted by the Trump administration. Again, there's a little bit of flexibility, but again, I can't read anymore because they won't have it behind the payload. So we're looking at this. So we're saying, oh, electric cars worse for the environment. Um, let's see if you, you think that it's better just by all the news, but uh, again, I, I, I want to specifically point out what I found is that the widespread adoption of electric cars nationwide will likely increase air pollution compared with new internal combustion engines. Yeah, the right, electric, more electric cars and trucks means more pollution. It sounds counterintuitive, I, I do agree with that statement. But after all, won't replace a 30 year old smoke belching Oldsmobile with a new vehicle, electric vehicle, reduce air pollution? Yeah, that makes sense. That's I'm not saying that's not true personally, but what the issue is. To make all this stuff, it's not. Gonna, it's making the batteries is, is going to be very, very hard to make. Uh, it, well, not hard, but like very, like you know, ecologically damaging. You take even really rare metals doing it. Also, you're making more like pollution by doing it. Also, the engines run off of electricity. Yes, but electricity is not always made in a clean way. Look at California making fifty percent, having over, like fifty percent more than all the other rest of the states. I believe. Just it's crazy, but um, that's why I think that's just insane. But what I really ha think is actually crazy is we see it here. Since then, it's pretty good right here. So this video is only about one percent of the pollution that they did in the nineteen sixties, and it's gonna keep going, going, going cleaner and cleaner with gas. So it's not gonna be really that much of an issue just to keep using gas cars. But when we're switching everything over to electric cars, it's not gonna be as efficient. It's not gonna be as good because you're gonna be not having all the same regulations and all the places making the energy. So that's where I come from. That's why I want to talk about it today. Please enjoy this video, and I, I hope I may I may cut it up a little bit to make it a little bit less. You know the way it was but maybe not maybe I'll, I, I know i'm gonna do a test i'm gonna leave it in like this and see you guys re response to it a little bit like less edited uh than it already is not even really edited but again hopefully you guys enjoy this video if you did leave a like subscribe comment down below what you thought about it, and share with your friends i would really really appreciate it and i'll see you next video bye everybody peace peace